greetings. I am Peter, and I am the technologist for the Galactic Waves. The Technolin is the pinnacle of Lego violin technology, armed with an ultrasonic sensor, a tilt sensor, and a rotation sensor. My name is Alex. I am the keybot player for the Galactic Waves, and a keybot is a lot like a keyboard, and it has two multiplexes on it to play all games. I'm Sam, I play the database for the Black Warriors. My base uses blue touch sensors and one color sensor to play 20 notes. Uh, Sam will be playing for a uh, Star Wars main theme by John Williams.
computer will see. It basically finds uh, the top corner of the card, and from that it can find the character. And it scans from the left to the right to find the leftmost side of the character, and continues across to find the rightmost side. And then once it has those two, it scans from top to bottom, so it gets a box around where the character is, and checks it against several uh, test cases I have to say. It. Uh, and determines how many pixels are different from the test case to the current one that it's testing against. And whichever one has the least changed pixels is the one that it decides is the card that's been dealt. It has very, very high accuracy. High, high 90s, probably 99% of the time it's accurate. But I'm Gordon Stein, and uh, I came up with the part solution design for a project. I also programmed it. I'm Julian Scavalli, and I help build the robot and do the research on the landmine topic. I'm Max Schultz, and I did construction and help with the research. For our project, we wanted to do a robot that would benefit towards people and, show, and demonstrate our STEM skills. We researched many different topics and problems that needed to be solved, and we figured out that the landmine topic was the most serious of them all. According to the landmine monitor report, landmine has been exclusive in the world. It covered 200,000 square kilometers of land in over 90 countries. 70 people are incorporated each day to lead to landmines. There's over 100 million landmines in the world. We did a search for the United States Patent Office. We couldn't find any actual robots like the one we wanted to build. Everything we found was a robot and was remote control. Or, and what we didn't find out was the remote control it was huge it was, and heavy and it was really expensive and it took two or three people to drive it. And most third world nations with landmine problems can't afford to train three people and buy these $10,000, $20,000 robots. Um, see here our project to around $150 to make. The price was so high due to our experimentation, we had to buy a part and then switch out to a different one. With mass production, we couldn't bring down the price and make the robot better. Um, it takes 33 pounds to basically trigger um, an explosion of a landmine. But Seeker only weighs 5 pounds, so as it searches for the landmines, it will blow itself up. There's a metal detector on the end, and it searches for them, and there it goes. Seeker is programmed to move forward at a constant speed. Well, it hands the area in front of it with a servo, and once it finds something underneath it using its metal detector, it activates this pump from a carbon chili flavor, and dispenses the dive we have onto where the landmine is so that a civilian could avoid it or so a demining team could come in later and remove it easier. The things that we could add on to it would be the chemical sensor and a ground penetrating radar so we could see deeper into the ground and other kinds of landmines. We could also have a partner robot that would be sacrificed. That would also be low cost, called a bit, bit bot. 